Who is the antagonist in the story Rumpelstiltskin? Rumpelstiltskin is correct. You can confer, but they have to give an answer first since it was their yeah. bonus. When it's their, when it's a bonus, when it's a bonus, you know you can confer with your teammates and to try to find the uh, correct answer. But it's only for the team that got the toss up correct, and then if they get it wrong then the other team will get a chance. And on a bonus, okay. you, you don't buzz in, you just say the answer. Yeah. Once you have the answer. All right, so that's why you couldn't buzz in, because they had already gotten buzzed in. All right. Toss up 11. Consider this unusual sentence. Sean got three A's. Since the sentence is a mnemonic device, and the AAA can mean Asia, Africa, and Australia, what does the E stand for? Is this Adrian? You're up. Correct. Bonus. Estes. It took Eddie Scissorhands four hours, 15 minutes to mow one lawn, two hours, 20 minutes to mow the second, and three hours, 25 minutes for the third. What was his total mowing time? Ravens? No. It was 10 hours. 10 hours. All right, toss up 13. What is the greatest common factor of 30 and 18? Is this serious? 48. Incorrect. Dominic? Incorrect. It's six. Six. All right, toss up 14. This line is from what story? Wendy came first, then John, then Michael. That's time. That's from Peter Pan. All right, toss up 15. If you had 12 goblets and broke four of them, in lowest terms, what fraction of the goblets were not broken? Ravens, Dominique? Eight twelves. Incorrect. Four twelves. Incorrect. It was eight twelves, but it's in lowest terms, it's two thirds. Two thirds. Toss up sixteen. If you had one hundred thirty pipes, each eighteen inches long, and laid them end to end, they would form a line how many yards long? Craven's Gavin. Sixty-five yards. Correct. Bonus. This is about what kind of letters? Maybe it's just me, but it sounds quite absurd to have letters in words that are seen but not heard. Toss up. What is the short name for the fictional character Pipilata Delicatessa Window Shade Macromint Ephraim's Daughter Longstocking? Uh, Estes Harley. That's correct. Bonus 19. In the U.S. Capitol, a stairway running from its basement to an outdoor walkway on top of its dome has one step for each day of the year or a total of how many steps? 365. That's correct. 
<laughs> there you go. All right, toss up 20. How many prime numbers greater than 10 and less than 100 are divisible by 3? Correct. Craven's Dominic. Six. Incorrect. It's none. They're all divisible by three. Huh? Or, no, they're all not divisible. Uh, sorry. I said the wrong word. All right, toss up 21. To maintain your hearing, a good rule is to avoid noises that are too loud too close, or that last how? Uh, this Harley. Can you repeat? Too long. Too long. Correct. Toss up one. Five is to eight, as thirty-five is to what? Uh, Estes Harley. Incorrect. Bows, uh, John. Five. Incorrect. It's 56. Multiply by seven. All right, toss up two. What kind of fish are particularly important in the diet of Alaskan bears? Faust, Zach. Incorrect. Yes. Estes, Adrian. Salmon is correct. Bonus for Estes. What line comes next in this verse from a song in The Wizard of Oz? She's gone where the goblins go. Below, 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 yo-ho. Let's open up and sing and ring the bells out. Ding dong the merry-o. Sing it high, sing it low. Let them know. Incorrect. Faust. It's the wicked witch is dead. <clears throat> All right, toss up four. Using just the numbers three, seven, and five, what is the greatest number you can get by multiplying two of the numbers and adding the third to the product? time, just barely. It was 38. Be 7 times 5 plus 3. Alright, toss up 5. Alibaba's greedy brother, Kasim, was unable to get out of the thieves' cave because he could not remember what two words. Uh, Ask this, Adrian. Open sesame. Correct. Bonus. <laughs> Bonus, this line is from what song? Hi ho the Dario. Faust. Faust? Incorrect. It's a hunting we will go. That's what it is. Alright, toss up seven. What is the title of the song that begins with this? Round and round the cobbler's bench, the monkey chased the weasel. Estes Harley. Pop goes the weasel. Correct. Bonus eight. This verse is from a poem about people in what line of work? Some have an eye patch and some have a hook in place of the hand that a crocodile took. Correct. Pirates. Pirates it is, yes. There's one in the line of work, pirates. Toss up nine. In lowest terms, what is the ratio of your fingers to your hands? Newton, Fair Shoujo. One foot. Incorrect. Craven Marley. Three inches. Incorrect. It's Five to one. Five fingers to one hand. Toss up ten. Quintuple. 
means to multiply by <coughs> what? Craven's brain. Four. Incorrect. Um, Paris Jojo. Five. Five is correct. Bonus eleven. What is this poem about? Bigger than a baseball, smaller than a basketball, what could it be? You catch it with a glove, you hit it with a bat, what could it be? Softball? Softball is correct. Toss up 12. What tiny, two-winged, <coughs> biting fly has a silent letter? Newton, serenity? Nah. Correct. Bonus 13. What mammals drop to the earth an average of five feet at birth? Giraffe? Giraffe is correct. Toss up 14. What, pal what number palindrome results from multiplying six times seven times six? It was tough. It's 252. Toss up 15. The northern limit of Baja, California is in is what U.S. state? Newton Paris Jackson. Washington. Incorrect. Craven's Brighton. California. California is correct. Bonus 16. What is the last verb in the Pledge of Allegiance? All. Incorrect. Pledge. Pledge. That's correct. It's the only verb. Toss up 17. This is about what sport? Our lives are loops, or line drives, <coughs> bunt, grounders, towering, home runs, and... Craven's Piper? Baseball. Baseball is correct. Toss up three. What is the product of the reciprocals of three and four? Newton Paris Josh? One. Incorrect. Craven's Brighton? Twelve. Incorrect. It's one twelve. One twelve. Toss up four. Using just the numbers three, six, and four, what is the smallest number you can get by multiplying two of the numbers and adding the third to the product? Newton Harris Josh? Twenty-two. Incorrect. Craven's Brighton? Thirteen. Incorrect. It's 18. Right, toss up five. The settlers on the Mayflower established the con colony of Plymouth in the southeastern part of a region that became what U.S. state? Craven's Dominique. Incorrect. Massachusetts. Toss up six. In government, the opposite of minority is a time. It's a majority. Majority. Toss up seven. What mammals sleep together in big groups? Hanging upside down from their roosts. Craven's Marley. Bats. Bats is correct. Bonus eight. According to the rhyme, what is made of sugar, spice, and all that's nice? Nice. Incorrect. 
Little girls is correct. Toss up nine. What imaginary being completes this verse? Belinda lived in a little white house with a little black kitten and a little gray mouse and a little yellow dog and a little red wagon and a really yo truly yo little pet. Dragon is correct. Bonus 10. A story by what author inspired these lyrics from a seasonal song? You're a monster. Your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You have garlic in your soul. I wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. Dr. Seuss. Correct. Toss up 11. Who wrote this? And then, just to show them, I'll sell to Katru and bring back an it cutch, a preep and a prue, a nurkle, a nerd, and a seersucker too. Ravens <coughs> Piper. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss is correct. Bonus 12. What capital city is missing in this verse from a geography song? My car got scratched in Montana where, in Helena, I met up with a grizzly bear. And I got hungry in Idaho, so I stopped in blank for a potato. Boise is correct. Toss up 13. Reduce 150 over 25 to lowest terms. Six. Six. Toss up 14. The <coughs> gathering of a football team's players for instructions about the next play is called a. Ravens Dominic. Huddle. A huddle. Correct. Bonus 15. A bite by a pit viper typically leaves how many wounds? Two. Correct. Toss up 16. Divide 60 by one half and add 20. Newton Parish Lord. Incorrect. Craven's Bright. 79 and a half. Incorrect. It's 140. Toss up 17. What is the name for the dome shaped home of a beaver? Ravens Marley. A. Incorrect. Newton Parish Lauren. Beaverdam. Incorrect. It's called a lodge. Toss up 18. According to the rhyme, what is made of frogs and snails and puppy dogs' tails? Newton Parish Josh. Boys. Boys is correct. This is from what British fantasy? Every time a child says, I don't believe in fairies, there is a fairy somewhere that falls down dead. Sudden Victoria. Peter Pan. Peter Pan is correct. Bonus two. What is the common term for the rapid vaporization of a liquid through the application of heat? Evaporation. Incorrect. Water vapor. Incorrect. It's boiling. Boil. Toss up three. The word one in this verse refers to bags of what? One for my master, one for my dame, and one for the Craven's Bride. Wool. Wool, that's correct. Bonus four. If you bought six pairs of socks for four dollars each and three pairs of shoes for thirty-eight dollars each, excluding tax, how much did you spend? Toss up five. Multiple, multiply the product of negative eight and twelve by negative four. Sudden 
seven, Dylan. Negative one hundred. Incorrect. Craven's writing. Incorrect. It's 384. Toss up six. What continent is directly south of Sri Lanka, Madagascar, Liberia, and Mexico? Sudden Ella. Incorrect. Craven's writing. Incorrect. It's Antarctica. Toss up seven. How many syllables are in this line? I wonder how much deeper the ocean would be without sponges. Private is writing. Incorrect. Sutton Dillon. 13. Incorrect. 16. Toss up eight. How many nouns are in this song verse? When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things, and then I don't feel so bad. Sudden Ella. The sound of music. Incorrect. Craven's Garden. Six. Incorrect. There's three. There's three nouns. Toss up nine. What is the last noun in the Pledge of Allegiance? Sutton Dillon. Pledge. Incorrect. Craven's Brighton. Aye. Incorrect. It's justice. The last noun is justice. Toss up 10. What kind of subject is illustrated in these two example sentences? Slim and Sally slop the swine. John Wesley Powell and his crew were the first to successfully float down the Colorado River. Compound subject. Toss up 11. What percent of 12 is 16? Sutton Dillon. 75%. Incorrect. Craven's writing. 90. Incorrect. It's 133 and a third percent. Toss up 12. Sutter's Ranch, home to his mill, was located in what future state? Sutton Jacob. Alaska. Incorrect. Craven's Garden. Mexico. Incorrect. It's California. Toss up 13. This is about a young person's visit to what kind of medical practitioner? He tilts me back, my head nearly touches the floor. I hope those pliers are fixed to the door. Sutton Ella. Dentist. Correct. Bonus 14. What should the word be in this mistaken line from a Christmas song? Chipmunks roasting on an open fire. Chestnuts? Chestnuts, correct. Hope not chipmunks. <laughs> Toss-up 15. This is a verse from what song about a gathering of birds and beasts? Said a flea to a fly in a flu. Said the flea, oh, what shall we do? Said the fly, let us flee, and the flea, let us fly. So they flew through a flaw in the flu. Craven's writing. Hello. Incorrect. Sudden Victoria. Why? Incorrect. There's the song. It's Animal Fair. Animal Fair. Toss-up 16. While the largest dinosaurs are estimated to have weighed some 40 tons, the largest African elephant today only weighs about one-eighth of that. Or... Sudden Dylan. 10,000. Incorrect. The largest African elephant today only weighs... Craven's Brighton. 10,000 pounds. Incorrect. The only ways of uh, that are how many tons, and it's five tons. Toss-up 17. A 12-year-old cat is four times older than the family dog. 
Craven's Garden? Three. Three is correct. Bonus, 18. This verse is from what song? This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands on a cold and frosty morning. Incorrect. Incorrect. The song is called Mulberry Bush. Here we go around the Mulberry Bush. Toss up 19. The Apollo program attained many extraterrestrial rock samples from what heavenly body? Craven's Garden. Alien. Incorrect. Sun Nella. Space. Incorrect. It was the moon. They got rocks for the moon. Toss up 20. Simplify Q divided by 1. Craven's Brighton. Q is correct. Bonus 21. What U.S. state is named for the country's largest river? Mississippi, correct. These are going to be the people that are going to be sitting next to you at high school graduation. And they, I hope you've made some new friends. And you'll see them next year in fifth grade. Mr. Sullivan, raise your hand. He was moderating downstairs in the auditorium. He's the, quick, or the head academic team coach at the middle school. So now you know who to look for uh, when academic team starts up next year. Not only do they do what we did today, but you also have the opportunity to write in composition and to be part of FPS or future problem solving. So there are even more opportunities for you next year than just what we showed you today. Well, I have the winners. Would you like to see? Yay! Well, I think you're all winners. And when you get back to your schools, your teachers and coaches have a t-shirt for each one of you. And I'd love for you to wear them to school tomorrow. It says future academic team member because you're our future. And we want you to be a part of our team when you come to Owensboro High School. So I hope that you'll all know if you don't come away with a medal, that doesn't mean you didn't win. You won because you're the best and brightest in our district and we want to celebrate that. We're going to start with Arts and Humanities. In fifth place from Newton Parish, Olivia Lewis. Right around here, Dr. Brake is going to be assisting us. Did you guys see Dr. Brake? Hello. He's going to be assisting, giving you the guys these awards. In fourth place, from Sutton Elementary, Max Thurman. In third place, from Newton Parish, Kara Bain Luckett. In second place from Faust, Cameron Stoller. And in first place from Sutton Elementary, Ella Bratcher. We'll move on to language arts. In fifth place from Sutton Elementary, Kaylee Colbert. In fourth place from Newton Parish, Lauren Payne. In third place from Sutton Elementary, Jacob Wellman. Now we only had one tie that's in language arts, uh, so we're going to give the one winner a second place, but I will replace it with the first place. Uh, but the tie in language arts for first place is Ella Bratcher from Sutton, and we're going to give Ella the second place, but I'll get it fixed, I promise. And tying for first place from Faust, Madison Marlin. A social studies in fifth place from Newton Parish, 
Josephine Gessler, or JoJo, sorry. In fourth place, from Estes, Adrian Askin. In third place, from Sutton, Dylan Mather. In second place, from Newton Parish, Darby Hare. And in first place, from Sutton Elementary, Connor Rhodes. We're going to move on to science. Fifth place, from Faust, Zach Cravens. In fourth place from Faust, John Brown. In third place from Newton Parish, Libby Biggs. In second place from Estes Elementary, Harley Givens. And in first place from Sutton, Connor Rhodes. <laughs> Math. In fifth place from Cravens, Dominic Perez. In fourth place from Faust, Zach Cravens. In third place from Sutton Elementary, Jacob Wellman. In second place from Cravens, Brighton Napier. And in first place, Mathematics from Sutton, Dylan Mather. to move on to the overall awards okay there's an overall trophy uh, for quick recall and an overall trophy for written assessment but before that we talked about this this morning you have to be a good sport right win or lose we have to be good sports and I saw that today and there's one school that I that I've made the unilateral decision on that I think should get uh, this trophy this year they, they worked really hard. They uh, were super polite. Not that you weren't all. You were wonderful, by the way. But I think that the Sportsmanship Award, named after Nancy Bradshaw, who coached academic team here at OHS for many years, should go to Estes Elementary. Ms. Thurman's getting old. Um, let's talk about the overall winner in uh, Quick Recall. With an undefeated record today, 4-0, Newton Parish.
the overall written assessment winner with a score of 198 points, Sutton Elementary. And our final trophy is for the overall winner for placing in quick recall, written assessment, and the overall high point winner for today is Newton Parish. Now, coaches and kids, we would love to get pictures so that you all can all be in the newspaper, because I want everybody in Owensboro and around here to know who's smart, and that's you all. We are so proud, and there's something we do here at Owensboro, and you're gonna start doing this probably next year, I hope, but we have a little cheer here, and we'll so I will say we are, and guess what you're gonna say? Okay, can, you think you can do it really loud so the kids on the third floor can hear you? Okay, here we go. We are 